we have got a celebration of the wonderful Italian brand that is Wally here at the, at the uh, Monaco Yacht Show. 20 years define the difference between that new Wally Cento, which you aboard yesterday, and what I think is one of the iconic super yachts, Wally B. I remember first seeing her in the late 90s, she was built in 98 at Pendennis, and I remember seeing her in, in Cap Dive just along the coast here a couple of years after that, and just being absolutely astonished. The early Wallys were really futuristic looking craft. Wally B in particular, very ahead of her time. Let's have a look through it. So she was designed by Luca Brenta and built by Pendennis in the UK, all in carbon fibre in 1998. And really to look at her, it's hard to believe she's a 20 year old boat now. Yeah, you have a bit more overhangs to the modern trend for, for plum stems, but, and the beam is, is obviously more central but in terms of deck layout and interior, she was very advanced for her time. So huge aft deck, flush aft deck area. There's a big lazarette with a folding swim platform below us. So they keep a 4.5 meter Zodiac in there. Big sort of sail locker type lockers below us for well, all the deck gear or even sun, sun bed cushions at the moment. Main sheet arch, gives it quite a sporty look. And originally had a hydraulic folding bimini that attached to that as well. The whole boat operates on hydraulics, push button Wally style. And you get this massive guest cockpit area under a boom tent here. Nice easy side decks, bit of protection from a slight raise in the, in the coach roof and an early Southern Spars, full carbon rig, Park Avenue boom, stack pack, North Sales 3DL. start to see her age a little bit in the deck gear but it's cosmetic if anything and yeah the Wally style raised bulwark running all the way up through the deck ending at a recess for a Reckman Furler for a self-tacking jib. Wally B for sale here for 3.5 million. I think that's a bargain. I think she's an absolute iconic modern performance super yacht. So flush decks, hatches all the way through. These huge drum winches each side of the companionway. But her futuristic style continues below. So carbon celebrated everywhere and exposed. Then you come into beam wide saloon area really nice open plan so very Italian style Lazzarini bickering design but good handrails everywhere and what's pretty novel is the fact that the 
it's a sort of matching saloon and dining area so it's completely convertible so this table here pushes all the way forward under the TV there as that one has so you can either have it as one massive saloon or half and half or pull out the tables and have a proper party and the um, design the layout all centered around the machinery area being completely central keep the weight central so you have an open plan to a huge nav station and the galley there it really does feel very open indeed. And then moving forward, asymmetric, identical guest ensuite cabins, each side of the mast base. And check out this <laughs> owner suite. <laughs> Again, 20 years old. But not lacking in modern design detail. Very Italian leather hanging lockers. Love how all of the structure of the boat is left exposed. And then the pièce de résistance. A bath. A nice carbon fibre bath moulded into the structure. You've got to feel pretty regal sitting in there. And then there's a, a heads and sh or a walk in shower there, heads to port, which closes off. And that glass screen can be closed off as well or given privacy anyway when you are sitting on your bath throne. So moving off from the saloon, the galley area opens out onto it, keeps it a nice open feel. Stainless steel, worktops all with fiddles, a little crew mess area. Just fridges built into there is more practical than a lot of modern super yachts seem to be. Separate crew access to cabins with bunks for, for, for five or six and two heads which share a galley, a, a shower aft. And then that, that curved area that runs round the centre part is all because of that. All the machinery kept nice and central and the weight. Little laundry area and then yeah revolves round into the captain's cabin as well. And then look at this huge nav station area. So both after the galley and after here you have sliding door to separate, close off that whole guest uh, crew cab crew area from the guest area what a cool futuristic boat